<laughs> well, son, we owe five grand to the government. So sometime between now and uh, 10 a.m. on Thursday, I've got to come up with a small fortune. Well, let's see what we got here. Uh, free money for fools? Nope, nothing here. <laughs> Here's something. Store toxic waste at home. <laughs> you wouldn't mind growing a second head for daddy, would you say? I don't know, dad. Everything in my closet sort of built around one head. Yeah. Well, we'll just circle this as a maybe. Hmm. Desperate woman needs human hair for wig. Will pay any price. Red preferred. Al, honey, great news. Ephus wasn't there, but Aunt Innie said if you get her a blueprint of the courthouse, he'll pull his half ton under the window, and you're just a manure ride away from freedom. <laughs> <laughs> What are you two looking at? Your lovely red hair. <laughs> oh, Al, you noticed. <laughs> I didn't think you cared. Oh, but I do. Oh. <laughs> oh, come on, Buck. Take your pill. I put it in this nice bonbon. I don't know what it is, Peg. I haven't eaten a thing since that piece of cheese yesterday. <laughs> oh, bon bon. <laughs> oh, it's nice and crunchy. <laughs> Gee, I hope it settles my stomach. I don't think it'll be in there long enough. <laughs> Are you brushing my hair again? You know, to some people, you're just a guy who needs a shower. <laughs> but beneath it all, you really are romantic. <laughs> yep, I am. Uh, Peg, uh, bring your hair over here. Uh, you can come too, dear. <laughs> Sit down. Here. Hello, we're the Privets. We're here to see the hair. Of course. Step right into our showroom. Uh, dear, uh, these are our good friends, the, uh, privets. The privets, yes. And this is my lovely wife, the, um... The Peggy. <laughs> you have lovely hair. Oh, I thank you. Leo, it's perfect. Come on, Leo, you can touch it, too. Oh, <laughs> oh it's very nice. Isn't it, though? <laughs> oh. Al, can I speak to you for a minute? Excuse us for a second. <laughs> What's going on here? Well, Peg, I've got to pay the IRS, so I'm selling the, uh, the lawn furniture. How much are you asking? Um, uh, 10,000. Al, it cost 40 bucks 15 years ago. <laughs> so did you. <laughs> now, 10,000 is a little steep, Bundy, but I might go to, um, 2,000. 2,000 dollars? <laughs> you know, it's really worth the money. Why, you can just sit on it for hours, and if you hose it off, it's good as new. <laughs> 5,000. You don't mind us taking it from you? Oh, no! Why, the dog just lies on it, and the birds use it as a bathroom. <laughs> you know, I'll be glad to get rid of it. We'll be back tomorrow with a check. Could you make that cash? That way we don't have to report it to the government. <laughs> Oh, you are the smartest man in the whole world. Honey, let's just forget about this audit. We'll run from the government and the kids. We'll set off across the country and we'll sell lawn furniture. Oh, God, I love you. <laughs> oh, split in. Yeah. Oh, what are you doing? Bud, honey, you'll never guess what your father just sold for $5,000. Well, sure I would. He sold your hair. <laughs> no, silly. <laughs> the lawn furniture. Right, Al? <laughs> well, we'll just discuss that when you wake up in the morning. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, yes. Oh, oh no. 